Hey folks, Technivorous here. Today we are answering your Kira questions. If you have a question, make sure you leave it in the comments and put Kira questions in your comment. It makes it easier for me to find. That being said, we're going to jump right into this, but before we do, as always, make sure you reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button and give that notification bell a good first layer squish. Today's question is about Kira, but it's actually also about Fusion 360. So the question is, how do you orient your model in Fusion 360 to ensure that it imports in the right manner to Kira? Uh, and basically, it's pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch. And when we do that, we'll see that we have these three planes, okay? As long as the bottom plane is the bottom of your model, you're going to import just fine. So let's go ahead. We'll make a large circle here we'll hit finish sketch and we'll just extrude it okay and this is on the bottom plane this is the one we're going to use and I'll show you why this works in just a second but let's also let's go ahead and create a sketch on one of the side planes okay and as you can see this is built on the bottom plane which means its very bottom is on this red axis right here that's basically your build plate uh, except it's only red from this side on that line that's just, it's not as complicated as it sounds like I said you can see the construction planes here let's finish this sketch too and we'll just extrude this rather large model we're gonna go to a new body and I'm going to hide the other one so that it doesn't put them together. Hit OK, and hopefully it'll work here if it doesn't take forever. There we go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and export both of these just like we normally do. I'm going to go to Save as Mesh, STL. I'm going to pick my folder. It's going to go, we're going to call this wrong cell for wrong cylinder and we're going to change the folder here to just 3d objects we'll go ahead hit save it's pretty quick and we'll hide this one we'll do the same thing with body one as well this one is the one that's oriented the proper direction save as mesh okay make sure we're in the right spot and this will be right so and we can go ahead and jump back to Kira and I'll show you how this works. So basically, I'm gonna grab my models here. The first one we're gonna import is the wrong cylinder and this is not gonna import with a flat bottom, it's gonna be on a rounded edge. You'll notice that that's exactly what happens. It imports it on its side. But that's how we built the model, so that makes sense. If we go back in here and let's edit this sketch just to kind of show you something real quick. So as I said, it's going through the center line here. Um, that is not the bottom of your model now. It is going to drop it to the build plate like it always does, okay? If you don't have that drop to build plate setting turned on in your preferences, then it is gonna load halfway through the build plate like this. Um, if that happens and it's still in the orientation that you want, you can just turn that on and lift it up and it'll drop it in place. Let's take a look at when we pull in a cylinder that was built from the bottom up. And there we are. That is the proper orientation for what I want to print. Notice that these aren't to scale or the same size or anything. Uh, I think we can get a little bit more detailed though, just so you can kind of see exactly the purpose of this. Let's go ahead and bust that body back out, finish that sketch, and hide that body because we no longer need it. We're going to make a couple adjustments. Okay, and we will do that again except the other way. I think we'll put a little angle on there. And okay, and then create sketch. Uh, let's do let's do another one of these. Make it easy here. Alright, now, 
The other reason it's important to start on that build plane is because you can do some funky stuff if you're just starting on random faces. So let's go ahead and go to move here. We're going to rotate this and I'm going to rotate it uh, 105 degrees because that's easy for me to remember and I can unrotate it later. Now if I go to the front view here, um, you can see that the bottom of my model is now a bunch of uneven points. Um, this isn't a great orientation for printing. You end up with a large overhang on this, this part here. Let's go ahead and save as mesh anyway. We're gonna save this one over our wrong cylinder because I don't need a bunch of models that I'm not gonna print. We'll delete these later. Let's go to wrong cylinder, save. Yes, I know. Yes, replace. And let's see. Okay, and it pulls it in in that orientation. So basically, your most important thing for orienting something in Fusion 360 is making sure that you know where your bottom is. Okay? Now it's just as easy to take this, go back in, and we can take the whole body, rotate, do minus 105, we're back on the right plane. It's not in the same position it was before, but it's based off the model's geometry. So either way, it's going to center this model when I. Let's go ahead and save as mesh. And this time we'll save it as right cylinder because it's right side up. Yes, yes. Okay, and pull it in. And we are back to being properly oriented. So that's the gist of it. If you want to make sure that your model comes into Kira in the right, uh, at the right angle for printing, you just need to make sure that you're going off of the bottom build plane and not building something out of the walls. And one of the easiest ways to do this is to grab this cube here and drag it. If you click top, you're looking at the top down. Now you can see the only one of these planes that is really accessible to me is the flat plane at the bottom. Okay. In three quarter view, you can accidentally click on the wrong one. And if I use this as my bottom, it's going to build the object sideways. And we don't want that. We want to make sure that the bottom is on the build plate. However, Kira is pretty awesome because you can always go in here and orient things in different directions, and it's not that difficult to do. Let's say I want to print it on its side and do some support, something like that. Let me get it back in the build plate here. So that would work. Um, not ideal because, again, you have lots of overhangs. What if I want to just print it with this side down? You know, snapping the face to the build plate is definitely your friend because you can pick any face on the model and that becomes your bottom. So if you're having trouble orienting things in Fusion 360, like I said, make sure that you're starting from the bottom. It makes things a lot easier, not only in printing, but also during assembly to know which direction things are facing. And you can see that the front of my build plate is represented by this, this plane here. So. Um, Pretty simple, takes a little bit of practice to know which side is left and which side is right, and it's not really a big deal. As long as you got the bottom where you want it, it doesn't really matter where the model's facing because I can just take it, and let's say I wanna do that face, but I wanna go ahead and, whoop, 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 too many. Move back onto the build plate, and we select rotate, we can rotate by angles by clicking the arrows. So if I want to turn it 90 degrees to the right, I can do that. Or, I'm very careful, I can grab this bar here. And you can't see it because it's a round object, but I can rotate that way as well. So you can do things by hand, and that works as well. Uh, just make sure that your bottom is oriented to the build plate on that, that, uh, that axis there. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I really do hope it was helpful. If it was... Make sure you leave a comment and subscribe down below. Let me know how you feel. We're going to make a bunch more of these videos because I love doing Kira questions. If you have a Kira question, leave it in the comments and make sure you put Kira questions in the comment so it makes it easier for me to find and I can make a video for you as well. And that's going to be it for this one, guys. I will see you in the next one. Technivorous out.